Hello and welcome to part 7 in our series of Yogscast Complete Mod Pack Tips, Tutorials and Fun Things to Do series. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the other videos in the series, check it out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff we found while playing on the server and we've made some pretty nice videos about it, so have a look. Um, today we're looking at the ME network, um, just the very basics of it, using it as a storage setup. Uh, so ME Network's part of Applied Energistics, uh, it's a very cool mod, you can do tons of crazy stuff with it, but uh, for today we're just going to look at it for uh, what I think is probably its most useful thing, is just just uh, organizing your storage. Um, so here's the one we've got in our normal base, I'm just going to show you so you can get an idea of what it uh, does. This is um, your kind of main access point, and it kind of works like a chest, you can just dump all your stuff in there, you see we've got tons of stuff in there, we've got seven or half thousand iron. Um, just yeah thousands of stuff loads of different items all in one access point so I can pull stuff straight out of here stack at a time or whatever um, so the storage is, is entirely scalable just depending on how many hard drives you put in it um, these are all our hard drives here um, you still we still got tons of space on there these are some um, pretty big hard drives we got a lot of those we found in in dungeons we did um, and you can craft them as well they're pretty hard though but these smaller ones they're pretty easy to make um, with a few few basic uh, components um, yes yeah, so it kind of saves you the hassle of like building a massive chest room having loads of different chests labeled up and stuff you used to have one computer um, you can have wireless access points to this so you could have that one there you could have another one in another building access all your kit from uh, from one place you can craft straight from it um, so like it's any eye synchronized so you could um, just put stuff straight in here and craft or whatever um, yeah very cool stuff so let's just uh, run over how to make your own one so um, before we get started there's a few bits you're gonna need um, materials wise you're gonna need uh, certus quartz and nether quartz and certus quartz dust and nether quartz dust um, you're gonna need normal redstone gold ingots diamonds probably one diamond I think is all you need for this setup um, yeah I think you only need one gold as well um, a few iron ingots uh, some sticks chest crafting table and reasonable amount of glass probably 20 or 30 glass um, and a furnace and that's pretty much all you need for putting this together you don't need any weird machines or anything um, the three main blocks we're trying to make are uh, an ME drive that's where you put your hard drives in um, an ME access terminal which we're going to make straight into an ME crafting terminal that's what I was just using downstairs um, well there aren't any stairs but down there um, and an ME controller which is a kind of you, it doesn't really do a lot, but you have to have it in the network for it to work. Um, you, you'll also need to put a hard drive in that drive, and you'll need a power source as well. So I'm going to run through all the recipes kind of in order of what you need to make to build all this stuff here. Um, it might look a bit daunting, but it's, it's pretty simple really, once you've got the names of things, if you've got any, any eye, and if you've got those resources already listed. Uh, so first up, you want to make some... Uh, uh, fluix crystals which are these things here um, that's using one of each type of quartz nether and certus and one redstone in that little pattern there gives you one fluix crystal uh, secondly you want a certus uh, uh, sorry a quartz cutting knife um, that's a couple of certus quartz uh, I think that's interchangeable with nether quartz if you've got more of that uh, two sticks and an iron gives you one of those uh, third you've got a uh, was it a basic processor assembly or sorry advanced processor assembly um, that's where your diamond comes into play you need a diamond a couple of redstone the quartz knife you just made uh, and a silicon the applied energistic silicon not the um, there's some from another mod on this pack but you need this stuff um, that's made by you can chuck uh, quartz dust certus quartz dust or nether quartz dust in a furnace and that'll give you uh, that'll give you this silicon here the energistic silicon so that will uh, make the processor assembly um, then once you've got that assembly you need to chuck it in a furnace and it will cook it into the um, the actual ME advanced processor uh, there is another way to make the advanced the thing that's going to pop out here in a sec there's another way to make those there we go that's the one you want there's another way to make those using the assembly table and lasers but it's and it uses less resources to make them that way so in the long term you want that set up but if you're just getting started and you haven't got assembly table, then this this will do. 
Um, cool, so you got that. Then once you've got all those bits, you'll be able to make um, your ME controller. Um, so that's using those crystals we made, the advanced processor, and some iron. Um, let's put that down there. So next up, we're making some Fluix dust. Um, it's the same as Fluix crystals, but with dust instead. So in one nether, one certus, one redstone gives you a couple of dusts. Um, grab that. Uh, you want some ME cable, um, pretty simple, glass along the top and bottom, dust along the middle, gives you uh, three cable. Um, there's, you can also make like colored cable, um, and there's a sealed cable as well from Galacticraft if you're doing it in space or whatever, um, pretty useful. So now we're doing another processor, it's a bit like the advanced one here, but it's uh, this is the basic, uses, uh, oop, I've got the wrong thing in there. Um, so this one uses gold, I'm just going to grab some gold from my uh, chest of wonders. So there we go, that gives us a basic processor assembly. Um, you can chuck that in here. Again, you need to cook it to turn it into a, um, uh, the actual ME basic processor, which you'll use in the next recipe. Uh, and again, you can make that also using the assembly table and lasers, um, if you so wish, and you wanna save a bit of resources. Uh, then you're going to make a, what is it, a uh, conversion matrix, the ME conversion matrix. Uh, it's four iron, the crystals you've already used, the processor you just made, and the dust you just made. Um, then you've got everything you need to make the uh, access terminal. So you've got glass down the side, iron, and then your bit of cable you made, and your uh, conversion matrix. Nearly there. Um, so now you've got your... Uh, your access terminal, your controller, um, you want to make a storage cell, that's redstone in the corners, quartz on the sides, uh, I think it has to be Certus, and another one of these ME basic processors gives you a storage cell, you're going to use a lot of those over time, you, you need them for making your um, your hard drives. So now you've got that, you can make a uh, your crafting terminal, so that's your access terminal, a uh, bit of glass, iron, crafting table and a storage cell. So we can get rid of that one, we don't really want that. Um, two left, so, oh, go away rain. Oh, what's that? So, um, yeah, so now we're gonna make the ME drive. This is what you put your uh, hard drives in. Um, you can build, you can have lots of these attached to your network and they each can take about eight or 10 hard drives, I think it is. And that storage space is entirely scalable, however many you wanna pile in there you could store hundreds of thousands of items in one if you wanted um, so yeah it's two of these basic processors chest couple of glass and iron ingots grab that and then last but not least we actually need a hard drive to store stuff on um, so this is the most uh, basic one you can make it's called me 1k storage um, they go up to 64k is the biggest one they're pretty tough to make um, this one will do for now uh, that's just redstone, glass, storage cell, and iron. Um, so now we should be able to put our network down. We've got the three bits we wanted. Um, doesn't really matter what order you put them in. I'm going to chuck the uh, crafting terminal in the middle, um, the controller there, and the drive. Um, you're not going to really need to access the controller much, apart from, from you could kind of monitor your power and that kind of thing, um, and how many things are connected to your network. Uh, that's about all it's used for. Crafting terminal you can be out all the time. Um, hard drive only really when you're adding stuff. So grab the uh, hard drive you made here and just pop that in one of these slots and now that's in your network. And you can see how much it's used there. Obviously none because we haven't done anything yet. Um, so now that's nearly ready to go, we just need to power it up. If I find some cable and just plug it in somewhere, there we go. Um, so you don't need to plug in each box like if it was a row of machines. They're all power runs through the whole network if they're wired so uh, or next to each other. So that'll power all three of those. Um, so we can see this is all lit up now and we can access our terminal. Um, and if I grab a bunch of stuff, we can, uh, we should be able to chuck all this in here. So you can see it's stacking up. Oh, keep that. Stacking up nicely. Um, I don't know if there's a cap on it, but we've had it in the tens of thousands, so it's certainly um, big enough <laughs> to uh, to keep you getting on with. Um, 
yeah so that's that's really cool uh very useful that's that's all you need for your storage setup once you've got that um i mean so we've used up maybe a quarter of the total space on that so your bytes there um reflects the total amount of items within the network you can have and then each drive adds another 63 different types of item you're allowed so um so i could have 63 unique items in there and then i wouldn't be able to put any more unique items in but i would be able to stack those higher if uh if the bytes wasn't used up um but as you saw downstairs we've just got we've got two me drives and they're not full up with the biggest hard drives but there's absolutely tons of space um yeah so that's about it for me drive there's loads of other cool stuff you can do with it that's really complicated i'll do that another uh session um i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did check out the other ones in the series um and keep an eye on the channel and subscribe because we're doing a whole bunch more of these um cheers guys oh yeah one thing to uh quickly point out um the me terminal you won't be able to access it if uh if it doesn't have any power so if i like smash this cable out here and the power drained out i wouldn't be able to get any of these items out now you won't lose them um but you won't be able to get to them so make sure you've always got a power source for it or um if you've got your power generators in your ME network and you run out of power, then you're going to be a bit screwed. Um, yeah, also, you can you can just smash this and move it around. The, the items are actually kind of physically stored on this hard drive, so you can see I can take that out, um, and they won't be there anymore. So if you want to move it, just, just smash the locks, pick them up, chuck them down somewhere else. They'll all still be there. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, cool. So that's everything, um, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.